Number 16. If you wish to detect details the size of atoms about 1 times 10 to the minus 10 meters with electromagnetic radiation, it must have a wavelength about this size. Letter A. What is its frequency? So we've seen this now 17 times. Well, actually almost, well, the two problems in the beginning were not really related. So maybe about 14 times, right? So this is now going to be uh, the velocity of the wave is equal to the frequency multiplied by the wavelength. And in order to find the frequency, I need to divide out the wavelength from both sides. So I know the wavelength, they gave it to me, but it might be, you know, the question might be, well, what the heck is the speed? Well, you got to remember it's electromagnetic radiation, and the speed of that in a vacuum is going to be 3 times 10 to the 8, a.k.a. the speed of light. So you take that and you divide it now by the wavelength of 1 times 10 to the minus 10, and this will work out to be 3 times 10 to the positive 18 now hertz. Okay, so that's how many cycles there are per second. Letter B then is asking what type of electromagnetic radiation is this? So you just have to look that up on a table on your electromagnetic spectrum, and that will be a type of X-ray. All right, it'll fall into that category. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you're taking pre-calculus or chemistry, right, check out some more of our videos. Uh, we have solved solutions. Even if you're not using the OpenStax textbook, you can always download it. Right, You can find problems that are very similar, if not identical, to the ones you might be having in your class. All right. And uh, even after that fact, we're probably going to have more out there, too. So check out our channel. We'll see you soon.